So did your life just go absolutely nuts and crazy at that instant, and it hasn't stopped since? <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah, I mean, it's just been a roller coaster, but a very fun roller coaster. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what. Um, my wife, and she's home listening right now. Her name is Kim. Uh, we refer to her around here as the lovely Mrs. Miller. Um, she and I both, we watch the show a lot, but we fell in love with you instantly. First of all, she's also from Oklahoma, so she had that connection with you. Um, awesome. But, but I knew the story that you gave was, you know, you, you were shy, and, you know, it wasn't always easy for you to be in front of people and all that. And so what do you do? You start working with some puppets and doing pantomime, and the next thing you know, you're in front of thousands broadcasting to millions. Did you ever think, when Mom and Dad first got you a puppet, did you ever think it would take you there? Um, I didn't. I really didn't. I mean, I just went into this thinking, you know, this is fun. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this and just have fun. And then, you know, I, I just kept getting better, and I just really wanted to give HGT a shot to see if anything would happen and did not know that any of this would be possible. So, Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, when you come to Fort Wayne in January, we have absolutely the perfect place for you to be because downtown, the Embassy Theater is a stunning venue. And, and the, the people of Fort Wayne, they love great talent, but they love stories like yours, and they are going to turn out in great numbers, I promise you. Um, and you're going to have oh, just... Awesome. You'll have just a fabulous time here. You know, I, I got to thinking, okay, here, here you are. You're a 12-year-old girl. Uh, Mom and Dad had gotten you your first puppet. And who was the first one? Was Petunia your first? Actually, no. Um, Katie, the yodeling cowgirl that I have. Yeah. My very first puppet. Okay. Well, I, you know, I remembered Petunia and Oscar and Edna. Edna is the only puppet that I know that was ever able to make Simon Cowell blush. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Um, I will tell you, the, the night that you got your golden buzzer, um, and, and for people that don't watch the show, first of all, shame on you, but when, when you get a golden buzzer, Darcy came out on stage, did her performance, and there are four judges, and yes, we like you, blah, blah, blah. Normally, there's a vote. You have to get at least three yes votes to go on through to the next round. If somebody gives you a golden buzzer, and each judge only has one golden buzzer to give each year, they, w was it Howie that gave you the golden buzzer? Um, no, it was actually Mel B. Okay, yeah, Mel B, yeah, the Spice Girl. Um, but when she gave you the golden buzzer, I, I, I remember watching you, and you were saying, no way, no way. I mean, that just yeah. had to fry your head. I mean, I just, I couldn't, I don't think I could actually just wrap my head around it. I think I was just, like, delusional, like, no, this really isn't happening. Like, someone <laughs> really needs to pinch me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what happens when I wake up and this, this isn't real? Uh, but it was real, and you went on. And and you won uh, the the whole thing, and and then you had the runner up when they had the talent, the champions. You know, everybody from everywhere came. Uh, you should have won that one too, just between you and me. Don't tell anybody. Um, but but you you just became loved by everybody that saw you. I can't tell you how thrilled we are that you're coming here. I mean, even in Forbes magazine, who said of you, for someone who has already made a pretty amazing dream come true at a very early age, the possibility are endless. And I do really think that the possibilities before you, I mean, you've already done your Christmas special for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. Well, I mean, here, here you are, a 12-year-old from Oklahoma. A year later, you're doing a Christmas special with people like Kristen Chenoweth, Toby Keith, Hunter Hayes, Pentatonix, who also, you know, they're, they're kind of okay, too. Uh, but but you're, you're, just, you're just wandering around with just some incredible people. And what's amazing is I see people in the news who are very talented, and they're in awe of you. That must be unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy to think that people like Kristen Chenoweth know who I am and appreciate me. That's so cool because I just adore them. And for them to um, <laughs> like like me, it's just kind of it's really weird to think about. Well, well, I will tell you this, just to just to confess to you, okay, Darcy, this is just between you and me. There's only about 50,000 people listening right now. Um, but on our program, because we're a news talk show, I get to talk to people like congressmen and senators and mayors from around the country. I just talked to a representative of Israel a few minutes ago. We've had conversations with the vice president of the United States. My wife knew this interview was coming up with you, and, and I texted her, and I said, 
I'm a little geeked out. <laughs> so, <laughs> but 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 it but it is absolutely amazing, and, I, and I'll tell you why. Your ability to do the ventriloquism—I mean, your lips don't move; they just don't move. It's pretty amazing. But your singing ability that comes through while you're doing it without your lips moving, because my wife and I also sing, and I, my voice is nowhere as good as yours when my mouth is wide open. I can't imagine if my mouth wasn't wide open. Uh, but I mean, it, it really—you it, really are an incredible combination of a lot of talent that comes out of you. It's it's just incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, can, can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Is Petunia there? Could I talk to Petunia for a minute? Yeah, let me, let me just go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, get her for a minute. I want to talk to her for a minute. Petunia, hi. Listen, this is Pat Miller in Fort Wayne. And listen, I know that Darcy's nearby. Um, but Petunia, this is kind of important, okay? I know everybody talks about Darcy and everything. But Petunia, you and I both know this all happened because of you. I mean, we're pretty aware of that, aren't we? Oh, yes. You're so right. You're so right. I mean, <laughs> I just don't think I get I just don't think I get enough credit for, for all this. I mean, I just, Oh, I don't either. I'm just... I know. I, I, well, and, and listen... What, when she signs her next contract for going on tour in the shows, make sure you're properly compensated because I know how these stars oh, I are. Will. Yeah, I, we don't want you, you know to get. I will. Okay, I just want to get that to you. Let me talk to Darcy again, and I'll tell her goodbye. Okay, thanks, Petunia. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, so. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there are people out there driving in their cars right now listening, going, okay, what was that? Um, so just, you know. <laughs> so uh, Listen, um, uh, you're going to be here on Sunday, January the 26th uh, at 6 p.m. Now, Darcy is spelled D-A-R-C-I, and Lynn is L-Y-N-N-E. And the reason I say that is you can get tickets at DarcyLynn.com. Again, it's Sunday, January the 26th. Listen to me, people. Get your tickets early. This thing's going to sell out, and you'll be sorry you missed it. DarcyLynn.com. Darcy, for your time today, thank you so very much. Um, Listen, thoughts and prayers for you. I just pray that everything from here just keeps going up. Just don't ever forget who you are. Uh, Enjoy it. But always remember, the most important thing of all of this is you. And we're, we're so glad you were with us today. Thank you very, very much. Thanks for having me. You bet. Talk to you again soon. Darcy Lynn. So get your tickets, folks. DarcyLynn.com.